purpose of this lesson is to show how to reveal a Manhattan or a histogram in order to view the extent to which your over allocation is in fact happening. And you will see we've chosen a project here that has multiple over allocations. Uh, you will see it is rendering it in an earlier 2010 kind of look, although this isn't 2010, it has picked up that formatting. The offending party here is one person by the name of Ron Cridlin, as one can see there, because it's a start to start relationship. It's quite obvious why he's over allocated. All right. Likewise, over here, he is over allocated because he's running on that non critical task there at the same time as this task. All right. Um, I see here there is another one. I'm just wondering why that one is over allocated. If we go to our resource sheet, we'll see, oh, uh, Bucks Kruger is also over allocated. So the purpose of this lesson is not to solve the problem. There are other videos for that. The purpose of this lesson is, in fact, to show how we can display the Manhattan, okay, in a dual screen view. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my screen by clicking on View Details. And at the bottom, we get the default resource name, predecessor name, which one could, of course, change to predecessors and successors or resources and successors, but I'm interested in neither. So the, the trick here is always to activate that bottom half of the screen in some way. Click on the gray area, click on here, click on the name there, whatever, but activate. If you don't, then the changes you're going to make are going to apply to the top by default, and you don't want that. So let's go to activate the bottom. All right. And then what, then what we do is we apply the resource graph to the bottom. And delegates on my courses often say, oh, but nothing's happening. It's blank. Well, that's simply because you haven't clicked on the, the offending task. Let's go and click on that offending task. There we go. All right. Now, once again, they say, uh, but still it's not showing an over allocation. Well, then you have to move to that task. We're not there on the timeline. And as you know, the best way to do that is to click to scroll to task. Now we're talking. There's the Manhattan. We can see exactly by how many units we are over allocated. All right. By how many units. And it's even possible here to, to change the amount of resources. So what you could do is you could go here and if we looked at, oh, okay, I'm not looking at the right table view, so let's go back to the right table view, table entry view, table, there we go. All right, oh, let's click on the top, tables, there we go. I'm on variance, we need to look at the entry table, there we go. And we'll see here uh, Ron Cridlin, but we could add another person, so we add Ben Callan, and of course, what happens is, once we've added a Ben Kalan as well, it changes the histogram. Do you see that? So one can actually manipulate the problem here. We haven't solved the problem, but one could manipulate it here. Obviously, solving the problem in this case would be changing this relationship uh, or letting Microsoft Project do that. So we would change that to an FS and it would remove um, some of the problem. Okay, no, there's still a problem because he's over there. All right, so let's just take Bix Kruger out there. Uh, we, we, we can, this lesson is not about fixing the problem, but that's how we would manipulate the problem. This lesson is about viewing the split screen view. In another lesson, we show you how to create this as a default view, which you can then activate from the left hand side here.